Sam Carter is a software we use to create sales pages to sell our online courses. Let me show you how easy it is to create a sales page using Sam Card. If you don't already have a Sam Card account, you can sign up for a seven day free trial. If you'd like to support this channel, you'll find our Sam Card affiliate link down below in the description. After signing up for your account, it's gonna look something like this. In order to make a sales page, we need to create a product first. As you can see here, here are all of our previously created products. Click on new product in the top right hand corner. Add the product name and description. Now we're gonna choose the pricing type. You can see here there's four different options, one-time payment, recurring, limited subscription, and pay what you want. We're gonna choose one-time payment. Add the product price, $197 for this course. Click on create product. Let's now fill in the product details. We already filled in the product name. You'll see here internal product name. This is just for you and your team. If you have a different version of a product, you can easily tell them apart. The customer is just gonna see the normal product name. If you have many products and wanna track them with SKUs, you can add the product SKU right here. Here you can customize the URL. We try to use a custom URL for each one of our courses. We want a URL that's easy to remember. We could verbally say the domain on a podcast interview, someone could remember it, and then go make a purchase on the sales page. We have domains like 4videos and 4weeks.com or channellaunchroadmap.com. Here's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today, and also my personal favorite. Here you can add a product image or icon. This is what's gonna show up within Samcart as you're scrolling through your different products. Also, if someone shares a link to your sales page on social media, they'll see this image there as well. Now choose the order redirect destination. So basically where someone's gonna go after they decide to make a purchase. Here we're gonna choose the order summary. Then below you can write a custom message for the person who just purchased the product. This will show up on the order summary page. Choose the type of product, either digital service or physical. Upload a digital file or digital link. We won't add anything here because we deliver our online courses through our email marketing software. Now let's save our changes. Let's go to checkout design. Here you can select your template out of these basic options, such as the one we currently have selected, Launchpad. There are also pre-made designs that are more specific, a sales page for a studio, personal trainer, and for example, this portrait photographer. Let's preview one of these templates. This is a sales page for Samcart Smart Speaker. Scrolling down, we can see all the sections of the sales page. Specifications of the product, description, more details about the product's quality. There are reviews and testimonials from previous customers, technical specifications, and here highlighting the discount. At the end of the sales page, we have the checkout. Let's go back to the template library, and why don't we go with the agency template? Click on design to customize it. This is what the page design tool looks like. Everything is straightforward and easy to use. This is what the sales page looks like before any editing. We have steps, a list of things you'll get with the product, results, testimonials, pricing plans, and the checkout form. Let's change the headline to start your YouTube channel. Record and edit four videos in four weeks. This little part will delete. Let's see where clicking on this button will take us. Click on the button, then on settings, URL target says it will scroll down to the checkout form. Let's change the text here to purchase now. We can also change the button color, font, style, and text size. Let's remove this picture. Click on image block, drag and drop it here. Click on it to then add a picture. You can either choose one from your computer or from the image library. Let's go down to the section below. You can change the three-step plan into a two-step plan. Here's how you can delete the entire row with just two clicks. Let's scroll down to the next section. You can delete or add anything you'd like. Let's change some of this. Learn to record videos. You can add your own illustration if you have one. Then you can go through all the others, change the text, update the images, and delete what you don't need. Scroll down and we'll see this area. You can delete sections, rows, or text. We're about halfway through the sales page. Let's add another purchase button for anyone who's already made the decision that they're ready to buy. Add button, change text, change color. Check once again if it'll take the person down to the checkout form. Scroll and if you think some of these sections don't make sense, just delete them. You can change the testimonials by clicking on it. You can add a picture, text, the name of the person who gave the testimonial. If the name and picture aren't important, you can just delete those. You can add new testimonials. You can change the style. There are a couple interesting styles. Let me show you the different options here. Also, you can check in settings if the testimonials are shown on the mobile version. Now we're at the pricing options. Since we're only gonna have one pricing tier or one price for this course, we're gonna delete this section. 
If you wanna learn how to set up pricing tiers, there's a help article from Sam Carr that I'll link to down below. We're at the checkout now and it looks good to me. Now let's go and check everything looks good on the mobile version. Here's what the mobile version will look like. Looks good to me. Let's move on to the next step of setting up a custom domain. To connect your custom domain, go to settings and then click on custom domains at the top right. Click on add new. You have two options here. You can add a new root domain like 4videos4weeks.com or a subdomain like learn.thefigco.com. Add your domain URL here. Select the default product if someone goes to that URL. So if someone goes to 4videos4weeks.com, we want the sales page to load there. Here you can add a custom favicon. If you're not quite sure what a favicon is, it's this icon at the top of your browser right here. If you don't add a custom one, the Samcart favicon will show up on your sales page. Click on save. The next step is to go to your domain registrar where you purchase your domain and add the following IP addresses as A records. Don't worry if all this sounds like a foreign language, you'll find a helpful article from Samcart walking you through step-by-step -step how to connect your domain. If you need to purchase a domain, we buy all of our domains from porkone.com because they have industry leading prices. A .com domain, for example, costs $10.37 and the annual renewal price is the same. Half the cost of many other domain registrars. You'll also get a dollar off the first year of your domain when you use our link down below or the discount code, the figco 24 at checkout. Your domain purchase with Porkbun also includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. We still have a few more things to set up with the product before we're ready to sell. Let's go to payments. You can see here, we already have Stripe and PayPal connected. If you don't have either of these, don't worry. It's really quick and easy to create an account with one or both of them for free. Allow credit card payments, allow PayPal payments, and also turn on digital wallets. For me, I wanna give the customer as many ways to pay us as possible. Now let's connect our email marketing software to this sales page so we'll be able to send a series of automated emails to customers once they've made a purchase. We'll wanna go to integrations. Let's add an integration so anyone who makes a purchase will be added as a contact and convert kit with a tag of what they purchased from us. Click on new rule. I've already set up this integration, so I'll choose convert kit and SAM card. To set up integrations, I'll add a help article down below. What we wanna do is add a tag to a subscriber, or if the subscriber is new, the subscriber will be added, and then the tag will be added to that subscriber. The trigger we wanna select here is when a product is purchased. Then select the tag we want added to the subscriber. On this tab is where you can add any pixels or code, for example, adding your Facebook pixel. It's a bit complicated to get into in this video, but again, SampCard has a bunch of great help articles to get everything set up. If we scroll down further, you can see here's where we can select the custom domain to use for this product. If you want to delay the checkout form from loading on the page, you can add the number of seconds here that you want that delayed. You can allow the product to be given as a gift. Here you can close the checkout page. Maybe you have a live course, and once the first session of your course has started, you don't want anybody else to be able to purchase it. Here you'll add a page that the sales page will redirect to after the product is closed. So for example, with the sales page we created with the discount, once the discount is over, we want this page to redirect the page that has the full price of that product. If you won't be using the product again, you can archive it. You can close the checkout after a certain number of purchases. Maybe you only wanna have 20 students for the launch of your new course, or you only have a certain amount of stock for a physical product that you're selling. Down below here, you can edit the language. If you wanna sell additional products, you can sell them as an order bump, which are usually lower cost items that are added before making the initial purchase. You can also add upsells, which are usually premium products offered after the initial sale. But either way, we need to first create these products. We're back at the product page, create a new product, CapCut Video Editing Expert, cost $67. Let's add another one, Camera Confidence 101, $17. To add order bumps to the sales page, click on offers. Let's scroll down and choose the products that we wanna add as order bumps. I'll add the two products we just created, CapCut Video Editing Expert and Camera Confidence 101. We can choose the layout, horizontal, vertical, horizontal compact, or grid. Let's choose vertical. Now let's choose the color combination. Default, modern, marketer, simple, soft, bold, night, or sand. Let's go with simple. Here are the design options for the button. Let's choose rounded. We'll add descriptions to the order bumps, first for the editing course, and then for the camera confidence course. Save changes. Let's see what it looks like on the sales page by clicking on design. Here it is on the sales page, underneath the checkout, but before the purchase button, so someone can easily add one of these to their order. Now to create an upsell, we'll go back to the offer section. Let's click on create new upsell, 
and name it coaching session. This is what we'll offer to someone after they purchase our course. Let's add the product coaching session for 197 to the upsell. This is a product that we've already created. Let's design it now. This normally isn't as long as a normal sales page. We'll usually add a video that describes the offer and then text that walks you through the same information as well. Here we'll write a question and a brief description of the coaching session. You can design it however you want, but I wanna show you how this works. Let's add a countdown here as well. Choose a style. Let's say they have 15 minutes until this offer expires. Now we need to add this upsell to a funnel. This is basically the process of what happens after the purchase. With this funnel, we're only gonna have one upsell, but you can have a much longer process with several upsells and downsells. I don't recommend though having a very long, complicated funnel with lots of upsells and downsells. It'll frustrate buyers. I'd only recommend having one or two steps after someone makes the initial purchase decision. Now we're at the offers page again, click on new funnel, give it a name, create a funnel. Add the one upsell we created to the funnel and save it. Now we wanna add this funnel to our product. Go to offers and then choose the funnel we just created. You can also run split tests to see which of the funnels performs better. Your Samcart sales page is all set up, ready to make you some money, and even has order bumps and upsells. If you need a domain for your business or sales page, don't forget to go to porkbun.com and use the code thefigco24 at checkout. As you saw in this video, it's really easy to create a sales page with Samcart, but if you aren't ready to invest in the monthly cost of Samcart, check out system.io where you can create a sales page for free. And you can watch our tutorial for that right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.